What's going on, Chris? Here, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're back for season two of Chris Talks. If you don't know what Chris Talks is, it's basically where I go over things I'm interested. In. That's not Minecraft or Lego. That's the main things on this channel. And yeah, let me get right into this. So what I'm, what I'm going to be talking to about today is something I've been researching for the past two weeks on my own. And why me, my dad, is I heard about this leak and rumor basically two weeks ago. Wow, basically a week and a couple days ago. Basically, we get a few days on the go. But we're going to be discussing that today, which is, of course, the Crisis on Infinite Earths anime and movie, which has been leaked in 2021 of December of, once again, 2021. Oh my god, I, I'm now rambling already. <laughs> so, pretty much, I've been doing my research on this ever since because this is one of the few times I research leaks since I'm a big DC fan, and of course, I want to know more about this movie. And as a person that's on Twitter and Instagram a lot, I do see a lot of leaks. And this is probably the first time I've dived right into something like this and began to try to research something to make sure it's actually real. And everything I've seen shows it's real. And I'll be going over that throughout this video. And hopefully, I, I don't think I'm going to have editing up today, but hopefully we'll get editing in later episodes. Probably hopefully sooner... Um, in the year when I'm able to edit more because I want it to be good <laughs> instead of just me cutting out portions of the video. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this. So first off, the first thing of course was the original tweet that came out in 2021 which was basically saying there's um, a movie coming out that's a trilogy for Crisis on Infinite Earths. It's an anime trilogy and it's coming out in 2023 and 2024. That's all we know. And that's all that was leaked. And the person that originally leaked this seems very certain that it is real, and I do believe it's real too. And there's multiple pieces of evidence. One of them made one being, which is not really as big, which is Psycho Pirate's introduction in World War II's um, Justice Society World War II, which came out in 2021. And that's a big thing, technically, because Psycho Pirate was one of the few people that remember the original events, but that's something that people say is a connection. And other thing, that I believe is way bigger is in Constantine the House of Mystery that came out last year. Now Constantine the House of Mystery is a movie that takes place after Apocalypse War after the DC AMU, which is the movie universe that consisted of Flashpoint Paradox till Justice League Apocalypse War. Like I said, but basically in this movie Constantine is being punished for helping Flash cause a new Flashpoint at the end of Apocalypse War and we really think that he has to suffer during the House of Mystery which spoilers, he was brought there to basically save him from his fate which he gets into this vortex, which I believe is an antimatter wave, which makes me believe he's serving the role of Pariah in this movie. And there's a lot of things that back this up. Mainly, Green Lantern Beware My Power, which also came out last year. The thing that happened in this movie was specifically at the two minute mark at the movie, there's this man that sounds a lot like Matt Ryan, the voice actor of Constantine, and he says some very interesting things, specifically saying that they should run and that the world will be considered by light like the others. I ain't word by word, but it's mostly the same. And basically, it's kind of weird that he's saying these things. A ram homeless man, people will probably check it up, is a homeless dude probably saying these things for no apparent reason. Well, I've been digging into this as a conspiracy man I am, and I found some more interesting stuff. Let me tell you about it. I found out that the actor is not credited who plays this character in the credits. There's no mention of this character in the credits, not so ever, and it's interesting. And you know what that makes me think? I'm on to something. So I personally believe, yes, this movie is real. I do, I've seen a lot of things that point towards this movie being real, and we will hopefully get another teaser with the next movie in the Tomorrowverse, which is being Super Legion of Superheroes that's coming out literally in a week's time. Well, less than a week, literally, when I'm recording this on the Tuesday before this video comes out. Well, I believe hopefully they're going to have something similar to what the CW did, the Flash Vanishing Crisis. I hope we get some type of newspaper that hints to that. And I also believe Constantine will show up in the Batman the Doom that came of Gotham movie that's coming out in March, I believe. And my theory for that is pretty much since Etrigan Zane is going to see his friend again. And he can't do anything to save him because the antimatter wave is going to kill him. Again. That's the sad fate of Pariah. He has to watch his friends die over and over again and people that he can't save. That's pretty sad to think about. Overall, if this rumor is true, which I believe it is from everything I've been researching and much more, 
Um, I do believe the movie's coming. Uh, it's just coming out soon. Um, the thing is, I do think if it's releasing this year, it'll be December, and I think we'll get an announcement, if my theory is true about the Batman movie, I think we'll get the announcement at the end of the movie saying, like, when we see Constantine make an appearance, maybe actually get a Batman try to interrogate or something, and then, um, pretty much Batman, or well, basically the whole universe gets wiped as Constantine trying to warn again and Batman that anti wave is coming and then boom they die and then we get the actual announcement maybe who knows we might get to see the anti monitor I don't know I don't think we will I think they might do it as they did with the original crisis where they barely show anti monitor that's just my guess um but I believe that we're gonna get like some thing that says the first part of the trilogy will be coming out maybe December that's the earliest I can see it maybe November October I do not see that happening but maybe December and that's the earliest I can see it coming out if it's releasing this year. And maybe January or more February of next year, if not. And then the rest of the parts come out the same year as what Batman Along Halloween did with their two parts. That's just my personal theory of when this movie, the trilogy, is going to release. And I think it'd be perfect to release it most of the trilogy next year because we basically have no DC movies next year. And I think it'd be perfect since Crisis is a big event. And since the rumor is that most of the DC, most if not all of the DC anime universes are going to appear, even if it's just a cameo, then give me Green Lantern show up for a, a cameo just to get erased by Anthony Matter with. I want to see Daffy Duck. <laughs> but get rid of the Bat, where the Batman. I hate that show. Get rid of it. <laughs> no, no hate towards the Dread of the Batman fans. I, I just don't care about that show. I just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't like that show. I don't care about the art style. Please, I'm sorry. I just don't like the show. <laughs> um but yeah i'm pretty much hoping we do get my hopes for the movie is i hope it lives up to the hype i honestly hope it does um i'm personally hoping for a multiversal justice league um such as maybe um like batman beyond please give us the um the voice actor Terry mcginnis come back and give us since the live action batman beyond movie got scrapped please give us him more batman beyond content I think it'd be perfect. Um, I also hope we get, if not, I hope we get Batman Brave and the Bold or Batman from the Batman show from 2005. I think that'd be perfect because I think it'd be great. Um, Superman, give us Superman from the anime series, from the DCAU, the DCAU, and the, probably like, it's like totally like random who they can just pull from. They can just pull any character from any universe, any multiverse. We can even get the Teen Titans. I'm not talking about Teen Titans Go. Um, I do not think they're going to be really involved in this. They could be involved, but I don't know. I want the Teen Titans from the original show. Go that. <laughs> that would be awesome. Go Cyborg from that. I think that would be good if they're going to go for a multiverse Justice League. Who knows? We could get Robin. We could get Beast Boy, probably. Who knows? They can say if they truly wanted to, they can probably tie up all the loose ends and say like the end scene of the original Teen Titans Go was like an anti matter wave. If they truly want to, they can go that route. If they really want to, they can go that route. I see so many theories of where, how they can connect all of this. Like the anti modder shows on the Green Lantern of the anime series. So you can be that anti modder. Or just the gods and monsters ends off of Lex Luthor and Wonder Woman going through the multiverse trying to get to different universes. They can tie it to that. They have so many possibilities with this movie, and that is why it's so exciting. I think, I personally believe that they're going. This movie will succeed. I think it's going to be amazing. I think it's they're going to pull it off well. It's going to be awesome, and I honestly can't wait to see when they announce it. Um, that's my personal opinions and everything I have seen to research it. See, research so far i just wanted to bring more um uh, evidence like bring more like front to the whole green lantern where my power scene at the two minute mark because i noticed that when i was watching i was like wait a second that's awesome <laughs> but um yeah this movie's gonna be awesome i just have a feeling and i'm pretty excited for it and i hope it's the best way we're going forward to make more dc movies i don't know what i'm saying now but to me, the DC anime movies have always been one of my favorites. To me, I kind of personally like them more over the live action. Because um, I just love them more. I really enjoy them more. I just believe they're better. And I believe... I can't wait. I believe they're way better, if I'm being honest. Um, there are some good live action movies. I do like DC live action. It's just... DC has always succeeded to me, in my opinion, at live action. I mean, at animation. And I'm pretty excited for this. <clears throat> But yeah, that's pretty much my opinions and all thing I researched. Like I said, um, pretty much I'm my reason I wanted to make this video was basically put more ev 
show more people about the talk about the Green Lantern scene because I don't think a lot of people are bringing that up right now. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I'm saying for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and renew. Please subscribe for more content. If you guys want to see more Chris talks, please let me know. I would love to go over more stuff I'm interested in, especially DC because I'm a big DC fan over Marvel. I like I like them both, but DC is my favorite, and I would be fine to talk about comics on this channel if like, you guys really want me to. Give me an excuse to give me an excuse to talk about DC on this channel. Let me talk about that DC zombie story. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everyone. Bye.